hello youtube today we are going to build a pricing table using auto layout in the ui we have a header section followed by three cards if you look at each pricing card they have a header which shows the name and price followed by a list of features and then a button at the bottom now let's build the ui we can start by creating a frame you can either press this button over here or or you can uh, press the key F in your keyboard it will open up this menu on the right uh, you can see a list of different re screen resolutions today we can start with desktop and let's rename this frame to pricing table okay that's done and now we can start adding the layers we can start with the title of the page uh, so let's call it pricing let's copy it and add description for the section so maybe you can just add a random text like lorem ipsum but i would recommend using a text that matches your designs i feel it gives you uh, a feeling of the page you are designing okay now let's adjust the textiles to make it look better so this is not a graphic design tutorial i'm trying to explain how we can build the layout systematically and ready for development so i'm not trying to make it look you know, fancy or like a dribble kind of thing okay and now we can create the pricing table uh, we can start with the adding the text so once yeah we can add the title of the pricing table and then the price and after that we can add the features okay that is done and now we can add the button let's apply the auto layout to the feature list and we can group this title and the pricing together and apply auto layout to both of them now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the price field into separate text layers. This is not really required but I'm trying to make the components scalable. You'll understand the benefit of this uh, in the next part of the series. Okay, that is done and what to do next yeah 
now i will uh, group the layers of the button together and apply auto layout okay now let's group all the layers of the pricing table together and apply auto layout and you can see that there are a couple of issues now we have to turn off absolute position for a couple of items and once we do that we can see that all things will come back into the place and yeah now we have removed the uh, or absolute position i think we can remove the uh, rectangle as well and now we can change the direction of the auto layout uh, we can set it to vertical and maybe do a little bit of rearranging yeah bring it everything together back and now we can apply a fill style to this just to add a background color and we will use something light okay that is done and now we can add some padding and little bit of space and yeah i think it's time for us to make it a component if you are not familiar with components they are just a way to reuse elements across your designs they help create and manage consistent designs across the project yeah so we have applied or uh, so we have made it into a component and i think we need to make few more uh, layout tweaks like grouping so we will group uh, the header and the feature list together and then apply auto layout to it and we have to adjust the uh, spacing to auto between the top and the bottom section and that is done and i think we can make some uh, changes to the font size and spacing to make it little uh, make it look little more better maybe we can add a check mark icon for each feature uh, so let's uh, pull in the icon from phosphor icons okay that is done and we will copy it to the other uh, other features as well uh, we'll do it later but before that let's uh, make some few uh, tweaks to the header component now what we can do is we can create a property for this component to store the pricing title name yeah same for the pricing uh, amount we'll create a new property called pricing amount sorry pricing type amount and same for the features as well we'll create a property called feature one Similarly, let's create uh, properties for each feature and then we will have properties for features as feature 1, 2, 3 and so on. I think there are 6, 7 features now. So we'll uh, create that.
okay that was a long task that's done for now now we can start styling the button uh, we can create a button component to style the to style the button for that let's copy the button here and we can tweak the style we can add some rounded edges and update the spacing a little bit and i think we can uh, change the background to a gradient yeah that should do now it's time to convert it into a component and we can rename it into button we can do a few more style tweaks just to make the uh, component structure better we are just making it uh, scalable and we can add a button property for button label so that we can uh, change the uh, button label on the fly now let's create a instance and add it to the design now we can do a little more cleanup here in the design we can move all the uh, master components outside the design and we can uh, save it separately so we can create a section to just keep all the master components and we will only use uh, instance of the master component in the design let's create the instance of pricing table copy it three times and create an auto layout group for the three and let's group the header and the table together and create an auto layout table and i think we can also create an auto layout for the entire page we can make some uh, tweaks to the spacing now we can uh, try to look the responsiveness so you can see that it's not responsive yet so for that we have to make few more tweaks let's go into that so one of the uh, main uh, control to make it responsive is how we uh, chase at the uh, horizontal and vertical fill so let's make some adjustments here and there Uh, let's check the responsiveness it's better than before but i think it needs more work we need to apply fill horizontal uh, resizing to the pricing table now when we resize you can see that the width of each box is reduced we need to set a minimum width for each box so that the width does not go less than the uh, set minimum width we can reduce the padding here okay i think this looks all right and yeah we can also set a maximum width for the content area so that the size doesn't uh, the content doesn't expand over that particular limit let's center align it we can also set a maximum width for the header section we can set it maybe 17d uh, now we can make some tweaks to the styles you can see that i'm making changes to the main component and all the changes are getting reflected in the instances now we can update the content of each uh, 
pricing table since we had created the properties earlier you can see that we can change the content for each card from the side table so there is different properties listed like price uh, pricing type pricing type amount feature one two three four five six so we can all do it from the uh, side panel Now we can play around with the responsive once again. I think we need to clean up a little bit here. You can see that there is more empty space on the right. The content can stretch in this area. Now we can adjust this vertical area. Applying hug contents should make it go away. but it is still there probably because one of the child component have a fixed height assigned to it let's look at that yes we need to change this to hug contents now i think we can add little bit space here and there I think it would be better to set a maximum width for this pricing table boxes. Uh, let's add that. And now we can align it in the center. Now we can check the responsive once again. I think we are all good. Uh, the content is getting scaled up and down based on the size of the screen. And yeah, that brings the end of this video. If you are finding value in this content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you and I'll catch you in the next video.